Then you, how many hours in the... Four, four Jesus hours. Jesus Christ, no. Four hours. In the hot, no? In the, in the hot, yes. Jesus Christ. Because I... Mm, I didn't take my class. <laughs> yes, yes, I imagine. I imagine. Yes. What, a, what a difficult, difficult day. That's yes, so, so I... Mm. Yeah. But you're doing well. You. It is very nice to hear you here. Finally, you came. So that's very, very nice. Today is a, it's an interesting day because we, today we are going to read. Okay? So yes. let's bring this up. So all hello. Yeah. All the class is very interesting. Great. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. In the same way, I can say hello to Elsie. Hello, Brian. Hello, Benji. Hello, Cesar. Let's do this, guys. Okay, nice to see you here. Hi, so, hello. hello, brother. Let's begin in this moment with our reading Monday, which is going to take uh, this new exercise. And we are going to analyze very, very carefully what type of problems, what a possible, possible problems can, uh, can happen in this next exam. In previous classes, we spoke about part one, part two, part three of the reading. Today, we are going to check part four. Part four and part five are the most difficult ones. Okay. Last week, we checked part five, I think, for the connectors. Today, we are going to check part four for comprehension. This is a very interesting uh, exercise. So let's do it together. And after we finish together, you do a simulation, okay? So in this moment, let's begin with instructions. What is part in part four in the B1 preliminary certificate for Cambridge? Help me reading, um, Elsie, let's begin with you. What, what is in part four? This part of the reading test is a longer text that has five numbered spaces where sentences have been removed. Correct. Following the text, there are eight sentences. You have to choose the correct missing sentences to fill the gaps. This, this means that there are three extra sentences which you which you don't need to use exactly you do not need to use you do not need to use because there are eight sentences in the options but only one two three four five spaces so you need to be very 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 careful with what is the vocabulary talking about what matches what doesn't match and it's very very important to understand the text understand the options and understand the vocabulary those are the three most important things that we need to take into consideration when we do this exercise vocabulary Comprehension of the text. And comprehension of the options. So that's what we are going to practice today, okay? In this moment, we are going to check if we can understand all the information that we have here. My tip, tip number one is First, understand understand the options first. So let's begin with the options. Read letter A. Help me, Brian. What does letter A say? That's why I knew it was a terrible plan. 
good. I think that's easy to understand. That's why. The expression that's why is an expression for reason. No? Easy. Letter B. Benji. Uh, I had trained it in icy water in the UK. So the crystal clear warm water felt amazing. That's correct. Everything is perfect except the word train. What is the passive train? Trained. Uh, exactly. So let's repeat. I had trained. I had trained in icy water in the UK, so the crystal clear warm water felt amazing. Fantastic. Good job. Good, good job. Questions in the vocabulary? Do you understand all? Is there a question about it? What about icy water? Mm, cold water? Kinda. Yes, of course. Kinda. Icy water is cold, but icy is explicitly having ice. For example, uh, the icy that, that you buy it in, in cinema, icy. The no, that's different. That's different. That's a, a game of words. Yeah, no, it's it's a game of words in that case because IC is a trademark. Icy water is water with ice. Okay. Because one thing is to say that this is cold versus icy. Cold doesn't have ice inside. You see what I mean? Yeah. And the, other, the icy that Cesar is talking about is different because it's icy. <laughs> Double E. That's <laughs> different. <laughs> but the pronunciation, good pronunciation, Cesar, many people pronounce this ice and this is incorrect. If you go to the cinema, you're buying an ice here. Eh? Not icy. <laughs> yes. Anyway, icy is this. Okay. I have trained in icy water in the UK, so the crystal clear warm water felt amazing. What you need to understand here is vocabulary. We have a lot of descriptions. Crystal clear warm water. Okay, we are talking about temperatures. We're talking about different qualities of water. This is vocabulary, descriptions, adjectives, etc. Okay. By the way, let me check. Okay. Next one. Read letter C, Laurita. They always ask lots of questions. Correct. That's pretty standard, pretty easy to understand, no? That's pretty good. Letter D. Help me, Caesar. Okay, I work for harder than I used to. Correct. In this case, this is a very important de definition for you guys. Level B1. Please take a Take a note on the definition of far. Okay. I work far harder than I used to. What is far in this case? Far, the definition, the preliminary definition is distance, no? Far versus close. Caesar. It's similar uh, to more. Kinda. Not similar to more. Because we are not comparing in this case. The word that is comparing is harder. The word far is a, an emphasis 
or harder. Okay. Emphasis work. And we are going to take a note on the definition. Far, very much. Remember, it's not similar to more. It's similar to very much. For example, that's a far better idea. That's a much better idea. It's an emphasis word for a description. What is very, very interesting is that it's always far plus a comparative. Look at the word worse, greater, more, etc. So far in this case is an emphasis word. Agree or disagree? Yes, I got it. Good. That's pretty much it. Let's then pass to the next one. Number, not letter E. Help me, Mitch. There you are. Hello, girl. Hi. Help me reading letter E, please. I began joking to friends about sending in an application. That's right. Is there a vocabulary question in this case? No. That's easy, right? He began joking to friends about sending in an application. That's yeah, pretty easy. Joking. You know, everybody knows the, the word joking, right? Let me check the level. I think it's A2. Yeah, this is easy. Okay. That's kindergarten for you guys. You are very good. So let's go to letter F. Um, Elsie, tell me letter F. Afterwards, some people were surprised by my decision, but I wasn't too worried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, afterwards. Exactly. This is definitely a new word, no? Is anybody familiar with the word afterwards? Mm. Okay, let's go to the definition. No. All together. No. Afterwards. This is a B2 word, so this is not an easy word. Definition, at a later time. After an event that has already been mentioned. For example, afterwards, she was sorry for what she had said. In this story, this woman said something very bad, and then afterwards, she felt sorry. You know, the oopsie doopsie moment. Questions afterwards. Not to Okay. Afterwards. Here it is. Then letter G and letter H. Help me, uh, Laurita, help me with letters G and letter H. Okay. I decided I needed a break. Um, H, I needed to explain that first. Correct. So there is no need of vocabulary in the third act. These are three vocabulary lists for your glossary that you should include right now. Any question? No teacher. No teacher. All right. Very good. So then, if there's no question, I'm going to make you a little exercise. 
let's see if you can understand the text and do the exercise by yourself. This exercise shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. So what we are going to do is to take a clock, go to the 15 minute mark and do the exercise. Are you ready? Let's begin. Three, two, one, action.
Okay, 10 minutes passed, who is finished? Only two, right? Okay, five more minutes, continue.
Fifty minutes is too much, don't you think? Like some of you finished in minute number nine, but for example, how long did the rest take? Let's say, for example, Benji, for example, Mitch, how long did you take to to finish the exercise? Ten minutes. Ten minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I imagine. Send me your your answers to this exercise and let's see how it goes, okay? You can send it to me via WhatsApp, you can send it to me via the chat, wherever you like, but send them to me so I can check how much you got. Bring it in, bring it in. I have Elsie's, I have Caesar's, very good. What about the rest? Okay, very good. That's Michelle's. That's right. Good job. So let's begin. Let's start with number 16. According to the answers, it's letter G. Number 16 is supposed to be letter G. Why is it letter G? Let's explore it. I used to work as a college lecturer in the north of England running photograph courses. It wasn't a bad job and I really liked my students, but I began to feel tired of doing the same thing every day. G, I decided I needed a break. It is pretty clear. The action of feeling tired is another way to say that I am, I don't want to do more, uh, to repeat something. It's not necessarily that you are physically tired. It's more like you are, how can I tell you? You're exhausted. You're exhausted of repeating and repeating and repeating something if metaphorically, okay? Therefore, I needed a break is a perfect match. I think number 16 was pretty easy. Some people say, Letter D, I work far harder than I used to. The reason letter D is not correct is because we are talking about the, we are not comparing anything yet. You know, probably later after uh, this text, we are going to compare, but it's not letter D because we are not comparing anything. Okay, so the answer is letter G. Let's go now to the next. I'd always loved traveling. So one weekend I typed international volunteering into an internet search engine. At the top of the results page was the opportunity to go and stay on an island in the Indian Ocean, thousands of miles away, and help to protect the beaches 
and the sea life. Space. According to the answers, the space is letter E. Number 17, letter E, which says, I began joking to friends about sending an application. Let me see the answer, 17 correct, 17 correct. Let me see the chat, letter E, and then, okay. Some people chose letter C or letter H. Letter C says they always ask a lot of questions. This is impossible because we are not talking about they. We are talking about the Indian Ocean. We are talking about protecting the beaches and the beaches cannot ask questions. That's why you can eliminate letter C. Letter H on the other hand is I needed to explain that first. There is a problem with needed because it's different to say needed the past than needed in the present. So for that reason, because we are speaking in past and we have a specific necessity here, doesn't match with the context of number 17. Number 17 says, I began joking to friends about sending an applications because of the next text in the next sentence says, I had some diving experience and the more I talked about it, the more I wanted to do it. So I contacted the organization. One week later, they offered to send me to the island and I accepted. Because we are talking about an application here. I contacted the organization. This information matches with the application. Are you familiar with the word application, guys? Yes. What can you tell me about application? What is an application? Um, for example, the um, American people sent application with army for Again, army. American people send the application for what? For army. The army. The army. Yeah. For the army. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Which is, please accept me in the army. No. Yeah, or oh, for a new job. For a new job, you send an application, exactly. Uh huh. And if you are talking about experience, we are talking about contacting the organization. We're talking about offer to send me the, uh, to the island. And I accept it. This is definitely an application. That's why letter E is correct. Okay, number 17, letter E. The next ones, oh, the next one that's are pretty interesting. Let's check. Number 18. According to the answers, number 18 goes with letter F. Benji, you are correct. Congratulations. This is for letter F. After all, the I know, letter F. Afterwards, some people were surprised by my decision, but I, went, I wasn't too worried. After all, the volunteer job was only for two months during the summer holidays. I thought after I finished, I would go and come home. Okay, let's see why letter F is correct. Here, some people can be surprised to go to an island. If a friend tells you, hey, I'm going to an island, then I will be surprised. So this, by context, can match. I wasn't too worried matches the next expression. The expression is after all. Let's check this expression because this is very important. After all, B1, despite what has been said or expected. Do you remember in previous classes, we saw despite? What is despite? Who remembers?
Nobody remembers this fight. Do you? Despite what has, what has been said or expected. Okay, we need to check this fight because this is very, very important. So used to show that something happened or it's true. Although something else might have happened to prevent it. Let's imagine that you have a very difficult task. For example, um, for example, for example, passing an exam, you know, passing an exam is very difficult. So I will try to, to, to pass it. The exam is very, very difficult and I study and I study hard and finally I pass. After all, I passed my exam. Despite it was too difficult, I passed my exam. Who can give me an example with this part? Okay, meme. No. Mm. I didn't finish the marathon despite I was trying in a gym. I didn't finish the marathon despite I was trying in the gym. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Okay. But the word after all is always. After all is like after the negative issue or the negative problem. Okay. Uh -huh. So it will be the contrary. I could finish the, the, the marathon after all you know or couldn't no no then you're correct you can be negative too i couldn't finish the marathon after all after all okay mm -hmm. so this expression after all is very connected to i wasn't too worried why i wasn't too worried ah, i wasn't too worried because the volunteer job was only for two months I wasn't too worried because it was during the summer holidays. This is a perfect match with letter F. Okay. Questions number 18. No, I don't All right. Number 19, according to the answer, it's letter B. As soon as I got to the island, I was sure I had done the right thing. My first dive was incredible. I had trained in icy water in the UK, so the crystal water, the crystal clear warm water felt amazing. I felt so lucky to be able to experience that every day. So we have some people correct, some people incorrect. 19, Mitch, you are correct. And Cesar and Elsie, very good. Elsie, how did you get to the answer, for example? How did you know it was letter B? Um, I guess because Mm, he explained that the this was amazing. He explained this was amazing. Uh, and yeah. in the letter B, he explained the activities that he did. Mm, kinda, but there is no. I mean, amazing can be anything. It's too ambiguous. 
we have something more specific, a word in specific that can help us in this case. Mm. Uh, diving, my first di dive. Dive, exactly. Very good. Dive is the action similar to swim, to jump. to jump into a lake or a pool to swim. Okay, that was the most important information in this case. And that was the key. Dive is similar to swim. So that's the reason we are talking about icy water, crystal clear, warm water, etc. Good job, Elsie. Very, very good. The last one, number 20, was letter. The last ones. There is a text that says, in fact, I loved it so, too much that I never came home. I have now been on the island for 10 years and I have a permanent job. I am working as a marine educator, teaching volunteers about the sea life and taking them snorkeling and diving. So again, we have the references of water. My desk is a picnic table, 10 meters from the best beach in the island. Of course, not everything about my life is perfect, but I I work far harder than I used to. Here now we are comparing. We are comparing his life today versus his life in the past. That's why you have harder, harder today than in the past. Some people say letter F, be careful. In this case, yeah, we are not talking about people. We are not talking about friends. The friends were here in letter E. So letter D is more about him working because we have the reference of the desk. Okay. In the case of Brian, let me see. Okay, we didn't choose letter C, that's wrong. And letter, yes, nobody got the last one. Okay, yeah, the last one was a little difficult. Mm -hmm. It cannot be letter C because they always ask a lot of questions. They who? There is no they in this case. So we should eliminate letter C and the last one is letter D. The options that were not, never selected was letter A. A is not in the text. And letter C is not in the text. Those are the two options that we are not going to give. Comments, it's your turn to give me feedback. What do you understand? What is your opinion in this exercise? What's the difficult part? Give me feedback. Let me know about you. What do you think? Anyone? Any surprises about the answer, for example? Mm, no, only only that uh, I I need her life. <laughs> you need her life. You want to go to the beach. Yeah, but you are going to work more. Yeah, but um, I I I love the ocean and and sea and beach. Oh wow, interesting. 
I really wish you can do this soon. You find your English and you can go wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Anyone comments about the exercise? Is it difficult? No, so so. So so. How many? Let me let me see your answers. How many answers did you get right? Was only I failed in the answer nineteen. All oh, right. Yes, you are correct. Also, number letter H is not in the text. That is so true. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the case of Mitch E B, I was asleep. <laughs> wow, yes, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, you need to wake up, eh? Because we have a lot. Of... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I guess I understand the exercise very well. <laughs> okay. Well, now you have you have expertise on this after today. Yes. Yes. Piece of Brian G. -E. Only one mistake. Good job, Brian. In the case of Caesar, D, D, B, F. Okay, the last one was the most difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about LZ? We have G, P. It's very easy to confuse letter D and letter F because there are very small particles of information that can. That, that can be different. So I understand what you what you happen what happened in this letter F and letter D. Mm -hmm. But that's good. My people, it's time to make a simulation, but now without checking vocabulary. Okay, I'm gonna give you extra 10 minutes, but now the exercise will be expressed in front of you without vocabulary checking. Let's see how you do it. 10 minutes on the clock. Let's change it, not 15 anymore. We're gonna change it to 10. And we're gonna do the following exercise. One, two, three. Action. Sure. Yes, we'll see. I What's don't up? get it. I don't get it. Is is the same? No, uh, it's another one. It's another one. It's another one. But now you are going to do it simulating. You are in the exam. You open the exam and you discover the the new text. Oh wait. No, teacher. It's the same. Yeah. Oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 that's too easy. Thank you. That was so... a trap. That was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, so 10 like minutes Brian is says. too much. Right? <laughs> Jesus, no, no, no. Very bad, teacher. Okay. Preliminary part four. Nah, come on. <laughs> this tricked me. <laughs> oh my God, all the websites have the same. No, teacher. Oh, no. You, you, uh, did you not drink coffee today, teacher? Yes. 
I didn't, <laughs> I didn't drink coffee today because I am, okay, found one. Let me just change it over here so we can, you don't see my answers, okay? And it's too hot. That's the reason. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> of course, teacher, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ready. Nothing happened. One, two, three. Action. Here, sorry. Uh, uh, this exercise is similar to the last one. No, no, it's not. No, it's different. Uh, when uh, when in the uh, method methodology, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we need to choose uh, these uh, answers A B C D. Yeah, and match it in the corresponding place. Ah, okay. You have one, two, three, four, five, right? And then you need to select one of these options here. Okay, I guess that we uh, uh, we add the word that we imagine in the option. The one, two, three. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That was the that was last Monday. Okay. Last Monday was a different. Uh -huh. Okay. This is.
Time's up. Time's up. Very good. Okay, we have Brian is done. Very good. Oh, okay. What about Benji? Okay, I'm only missing Michelle. I'm only missing Hector, if you have it. Dorita, if you have it. And let's go. Excellent. Are you ready to see the answers? Three, two, one. Let's go. Attention, my people. These are the answers. So some of them have, okay, two mistakes for Caesar. E, H, E, Q. Have one mistake for Mitch, very good. B, A, C, G2, mistakes for Benji, we're very close. Good job, Brian. B H E C. Only one. Very good, man. Very, very good. And L C D H A C F. Good job, L C F. Very nice. Okay. Well, you have in front of you the possible words that affected your result. So if you don't know these words, take a note on them because this goes directly to your glossary. Okay, the question is, are you completing your glossary? Do you have more words for your glossary? I wanna see it, eh? Because your exam is, starts this Thursday, okay? On Thursday, we are going to do reading and writing. And then on Friday, we are going to do listening and speaking. And I'm going to take all the weekend to check it. <laughs> so my people, study your words, study your phrasal verbs, study everything you need to study because tomorrow, well, on Thursday, we start the exam. Is there any question? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I hope. Uh, okay. No questions. No questions. I hope. I don't want to scare you. I just want to give you the heads up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, my guys. Well, very good job. If you have two, three mistakes, that's okay, don't worry, but try to get less, okay? That's very, very important. The less mistakes, the better our score. I will see you tomorrow for the last uh, listening, uh, I know listening on Wednesday, and tomorrow is gonna be um, use of language. Uh -huh. We're gonna check the use of language tomorrow, so come to class because it's gonna be an important class, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. See you later. Bye, good night, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, teacher. See you. See you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Dorita. See you. Good night. <laughs> Bye.